Hey, Cope. I think Leon was bringing you this. Deke. <laughs> you made a wise choice. Wise choice. You go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> Deke? Deke? You there? Boozer, why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Remember what I said back in the tunnel? Don't go up there, Deke. It's, it's making you crazy. Boozer, I... Go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same. And what are the tulips for? I saw them, Dick. You're on the table this morning. The same one she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, my very honor, sir. Get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. Tulips, Boozer, the stone crop. Get it right. Get you now. Who's are you there? Yeah, Deke. I took care of it. Alvarez, I mean. Thanks, brother. She did the same for us. Yeah, she would have. Still here. How many years is it gonna take before all of this is finally gone? Nice refugee camp. Yeah, you all would have been better off out in the shit. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my arm. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to be like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I won't lose an aim. I a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. <laughs> hey. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey, come on. Oh, stabbed me. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, what? Okay. Just hold this here as long as you can. I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged out. Yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. Alright. Mm. Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Hey. Mm. Easy, easy. She reminded me so much of my little sister, you know? Mm. She used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Okay. We gotta move. We're going that way. Uh, come on. Hey, 
Yes, we are. Can you move? Who's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. It's nothing, Coco. I got this. Go. Hold on. Don't shoot. Just fuck you. Yeah, we see you got guns, goddammit. Stop shooting. Sir? Hey, 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 hey. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Get out. Now listen to me. Listen to me. My girl's out there. She's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed just... my wife. Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I am sorry, sir. No, sir. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, listen, just, just do it again. 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 Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay, listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out oh, here, O'Brien. Okay. Shit. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. We only got room for two of you. We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Here we are. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Said, I'll be back. Boozer, another Nero chopper. Wonder what the hell they're up to. Ruin 
went up there again, didn't you? After I told you not to... Look! I... You just leave it. All right? I'm just out hunting for each boozer. You got that? Bounties. That is the only reason that I go up there. Rudders. Damn it! There we go. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I think they were just, uh, warning shots. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Dick it out. Drake isn't working. No, it's working. Oh, oh, this oh, little oh, shit oh, oh, turn oh, your head oh, off oh, right now. Oh, 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 Get back here with that oh, little shit that's mine! Ah, uh, finally! Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here... Shit, wrangling freaks, I don't know. They had a newt in some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What, what do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers. Bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't... you don't think that Sarah... No! No, not, I, I... I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? Hey. 
So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road, and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh. It's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Bel Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> <All right. laughs> could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Shit! Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh my god. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> all right. I just... <sighs> just give me a second. <sighs> There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right. Screw it. Let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Uh, what the hell? Clay, we got company. Oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. Uh, I'm 
hard now, huh? Got here. That's Big my bad biker, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, hit him again. Uh, you like that bike, boy? Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Him. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you don't learn, do you, Mike? Watch all day. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Shit. Yeah, I'm out. Hold up. Hold up. Roll, goddammit. Roll. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I. Oh. oh my god, I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. So I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay. It's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no. You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah. Tucker, Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion Forks. Deacon, I already told you everything I know. Young, a woman. Wait, he mentioned Hungry Jim's. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. <sighs> Lumberjack, big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. You do that, and remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came through the other day, traded us a few guns. Maybe something you could use. I'll keep that in mind. Deacon out. All right. Where are you hiding? You gotta be here somewhere. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. Gotta be Harris. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? If you move cautiously, it'll stick around long. Good for you. Come on. <clears throat> Just gotta set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No. Uh, uh, Lisa. Right. Oh. That's mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop, and they would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... I got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So, so I hid I, I didn't know uh, what to do. It's all right, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp, and to eat you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no. but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp? I know she is. Okay. Stay.
stay close. The men with the guns, are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. They're gone. Lots of sick people. Okay. Come on, get on. We have to move. I don't know about this. Come on, kid. We gotta go. Oh, okay. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa... Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is... They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay. That, that sounds great. We used to go all over. On that crater, the lava flow, and black crater. Everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp, too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms? You know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army, but they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland, my best friend, but he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay. do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. Alright, this is it. We're here, so just stay with me. Open up. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker! Oh my god! Whoa. Lisa, honey! Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people shh, got shh, sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, I'm gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work here like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, D. Boozer, you there? Yeah, damn. I just caught a break. A Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't. 
but with a little luck, I can get to the chopper without being seen and... Give him hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? You can ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of shit. Speaking up. Alright, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. Alright, get some questions. Jesus. I'm sorry that I wasn't here. Uh, hey, me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, and son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <laughs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Oh, well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone too. As soon as we get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh, I might not see you again, you know? So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Deer scat. It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. <sighs> I see him. Now here, use my rifle. <laughs> Got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, oh, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well... Let's just say, no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. How's it going, booze man? I'm fine, goddammit. Hey, Dean, we're getting low on supplies. We can do some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Cope? 
Shit, sorry, I didn't mean to be gone that long. It's gonna get cold tonight. Yeah, I can feel it. Hey, booze man, I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. All right, okay, let's go. Where you poor son of a bitch, at least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what had happened? Something. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. What do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... Sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, with Nero camp, Protocol 2 7 were states. Burning. The Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay, okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound, she, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Where are there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, report. <sighs> I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Brian, that 
O'Brien. He's alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't going to make it, but he got her to a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be. She. No, 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 no.